All right, and our forecast calls for a beautiful autumn day. Again, nice to see this kind of weather in southern New England. If only we could have it with a little bit of rain to get rid of this drought. We'll talk about that rainfall situation in just a second. Let's get you to those three key things. Another nice day, exclamation point. You see that? A few showers this week and then cooler later this week. We're talking about overnight temperatures potentially going into the low 40s or even upper 30s for the capital city. So it's been a while since we've seen that. Now in Narragansett, that nice morning glow with our temperatures running in the upper 40s and the city by the sea in Newport shows a beautiful view this morning with our rain situation well below normal. So we're getting close to 10 inches below normal precipitation wise since January 1st. Since June 1st, it's also been especially dry. I think we're right around the seventh driest in history on record since June 1st for um, lack of rainfall. So hopefully we can make up a little bit of ground tonight into tomorrow morning, although it doesn't look like that much rain. We'll talk about that in just a second as well. 39 in Smithfield, 44 in Providence, upper 30s in New Bedford, 35, just three degrees above freezing in Taunton right now. Winds out of the northwest in Providence at five miles an hour. We're calm in Smithfield and a wind out of the north in Newport at five miles an hour. High pressure generally in control, dominating things just offshore here. Now, eventually this slides away tonight into tomorrow and that will make room for a couple of systems. But here's the thing. These don't really sync up all that well to give us a lot of rain. We have this area of low pressure in the Great Lakes, some moisture offshore from the Carolinas. And as these move at us, we get clipped by some showers, but we don't get a soaking. So let's show you what happens here. This is 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you have outdoor plans this afternoon, you're fine. Notice how the chance of showers does start to increase later tonight. We take you to around 8, 9 p.m. increase in clouds. Some showers possible around 11 p.m. or midnight. And then into tomorrow morning, a few showers are possible. So you may be dealing with a few showers for the Monday morning commute. I don't see that creating huge issues for the drive to work. And notice that area of low pressure from the Great Lakes starts to fuse with the offshore moisture, but it really never sets up all that long here in southern New England. So by tomorrow around lunchtime, we may be mostly done with these showers, leading to a mostly dry Monday afternoon. So that's not great for the drought situation. It is pretty nice if you have outdoor plans on Monday afternoon. Things are looking pretty good. It looks great today. Noontime 65, 68, 3 p.m. Winds will be fairly light today. And when you see the word variable, that tends to indicate that we don't have winds that are all that strong. So when the winds have a tough time making up their mind of which way to blow, that's when we see those uh, light winds in the forecast. So that's good news if maybe you have some golf plans or something else outside around 68 in Hope Valley, 66 in Charlestown, 66 in Narragansett. Northern Rhode Island temperatures getting into the upper 60s to low 70s this afternoon, 69 in situ at 71 in Johnston, 69 in West Warwick. Eastern Massachusetts temperatures also in the upper 60s. Upper 60s for Attleboro, Seekonk, uh, Fall River, Westport and Dartmouth also getting close to 70 degrees. This evening, I think if you have some early evening plans, you're fine. Upper 50s with increasing clouds. Best chance of showers after around 11 p.m. or midnight. And the best location to see those showers would be along the south coast. So that's where the chance of precipitation is the highest. Now we have the Yucatan Peninsula right here. And we have tropical storm Gamma. And obviously things continue to be very busy in the Atlantic. That's the 24th named storm this year in the Atlantic. Amazing. Now our seven day forecast shows temperatures staying in the 60s and then we bring in the chance for some showers on Wednesday, but out ahead of that, fairly mild. Behind that, it gets cooler, and there are those dropping temperatures by Friday. Highs only in the upper 50s, maybe nighttime lows in the 30s and low 40s. You can always get more updates 